Now this problem is from Newton's second law and a subtopic related oscillations. Question says the diagram shows two particles A and B of masses 3 kg and 5 kg. So mass of A is basically 3 kg. So let me write here. So this is 3 kg and mass of B is basically given 5 kg. Connected by a light inextensible string passing over two fixed smooth pulleys. So this mass is passing over this pulley and this mass is passing over this fixed smooth pulley. And these two pulleys are basically fixed. So this pulley and this pulley is fixed. So this pulley is again fixed. Under a light a smooth movable pulley C. So this pulley C is light movable which carries a particle D of mass 6 kg. So D has a mass of 6 kg. The system is released from rest. Find the acceleration of A and acceleration of B. So we have to find what is the acceleration of A and what is the acceleration of B. So let us say acceleration of A is A1. So this particle will go up. Similarly this particle is assume let us say this 5 kg also goes up and 6 kg goes down. So 6 kg particle is coming down and this 5 kg particle is also going up. Let us say this particle 5 kg is going up with acceleration A2. Now what is the acceleration of particle D? If I say if this goes by A1, this goes by A2. So this uh, string, this whole uh, string is released by A1 plus A2. So this will go only half of that because half this side and half this side. So acceleration of this particle is A1 plus A2 by 2. And this is the only important point we have in this problem. So what is happening? Let me explain again. This is my pulley. This, uh, this is mass. This is fixed pulley. This pulley is again fixed. So this pulley is here I have a pulley. This pulley is again fixed and there is a mass. Now this is attached with another mass. If this goes by A1 and this goes by A2, this part of a string is basically freed from A1 plus A2. But now this is going down so both side it will be, we will go down. So this is only A1 plus A2 by 2. So acceleration of this is A1 plus A2 by 2. Now things are very easy now. We can always draw equations. Tension in this is T. Let us say bed force is 3Z here. Bed force is 6Z. Bed force here I will have 5Z. And these pulleys are a smooth so string. This uh, string, whole uh, string will have same tension. So this is also having tension T. And this is also having tension T. And this is also having tension T. Now let us write equation of motion for this mass. This is going up. So T minus 3Z is equal to mass into acceleration. That is 3A1. Let us write equation for this mass. That is going up once again. So T minus 5Z is equals to mass into acceleration. Acceleration is A2. Now for this block, let us say in this case I have tension T2. So tension T2, so this is going down. So 6Z minus T2 is equals to mass into acceleration. So mass is 6 and acceleration is A1 plus a2 this divided by 2. If you see this is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. So if you see there are how many unknown? So we have T as unknown, A1, A2 is unknown and T2 is also unknown. So we need one more equation because we have only three equations and four unknown in this case we have. So this is a case of four unknown and three equation. So we need one more equation and that can be easily derived. 
because assuming this massless pulley so if total force is acting on this pulley is if this tension is T2 then this tension is also T2 now the total force on this pulley should be 0 because mass is 0 so the upward force is T plus T2 T and the downward force is T2 so basically downward force T2 should be equals to 2 T so we can write T2 is equals to 2 T so this is the downward force now we have four equation and we can solve always so let us say try to solve these equations let us use equation 3 so we have equation 3 that is 6z minus t2 and t2 is equals to 2t and this is equals to 3 times a1 and we can calculate a1 from this equation so a1 is t minus 3z by 3 so this is t minus 3z divided by 3 so this is your a1 now what is a2 so a2 is t minus 5z divided by 5 so we have to have plus a2 so here I have plus a2 so value of a2 is you see here this is t minus 5z so this is t minus 5z and this divided by 5 now we can solve for t from here so we will have 6z minus 2t this is equals to t minus 3z if we multiply by 3 plus 3 by 5t minus 3z so you can do multiplication so you have here 3z 3z 6z and this side comes 6z so we have 12z and this 2t goes this side so 2t and this is t plus 3 by 5t that is 8 by 5t so we have 8 by 5t now if I add these two things so we will have 12z is equals to 12 plus 8 so we have basically 20 by 5t so from here we can say 12z is equals to 4t so t is equals to basically 3z and that is 30 newton so this uh, string will have a tension of so this whole uh, string so this part of the string this uh, string will have a tension of 30 newton now we can easily found a1 and a2 so a1 is t minus 3z by 3 so a1 a2 it is easy to find a1 a2 so a1 is basically t minus 3z by 3 so this is t minus 3z by 3 that is 0 because t is 3z uh, this is coming out to be 0 let me check the calculation here I have a mistake so this is 5 into 2, 10 plus 8 so this is not 20 z this is 18 so this is 18 t by 5 so if I do so I will have 6 into 2 6 into 3 so 10 by 3 z so from here I can write let us rub this one so t is equals to 10 by 3 z that is basically wrong so we have done wrong calculation so this is 5 into 2 10 10 by 3 z so tension in this case is 10 by 3 z now we can find because tension is not 3 z so we have to do this calculation again so this is 10 by 3 z minus 3 z and this divided by 3 so this is simply a z by 9 so this is z by 9 now we can also calculate acceleration a2 and this will be equals to a2 is nothing but t minus 5z by 5 so t minus 5z and this divided by 5 and we know t is 10 by 3z so 10 by 3z minus 5z and this divided by 5 so we will have this is basically negative minus 5z by 3 by 5 so finally we will have minus z by 3 so this is acceleration a2 negative acceleration simply suggests that our assumption that is this mass b is going up is incorrect basically b is going down so we assu assume that a2 is going up basically that is wrong this mass b is also coming down because final answer for a2 
is negative. 